Greetings, YouTube. It is I, Patrick Roth. Um, sorry, I'm in the process of working out, so I don't have a shirt on. But anyway, I wanted to let you know not to waste your money on the latest and, and greatest, smartest model, 01 Pro, um, 12 Days of Christmas, OpenAI, garbage. No, I, don't, I wouldn't go so far as to call it garbage, but it it's pretty bad, and it suffers from a lot of the same problems that all of the those like thinking models have and that I think it's trained on like a series of steps. So if you had a specific problem that involved like a series of steps that you needed some sort of very structured, like, okay, well, first I will uh, construct these or take these raw ingredients and then I'll process the ore. And then after I process the ore, then I will smelt these different pieces. So if you have a, like a really like long complicated series of steps, maybe it's good, but for coding at least in my mind like code should usually be short modular pieces of code and when i asked it very specifically for short modular piece of code it failed every single time and um i would say four out of five different queries or prompts it was always coming back with multiple different blocks of code but it would be code that it's like Oh yeah, fill in fill in the gap for this uh, functionality later. Like I would I would give it very specific code blocks of what I wanted, and say like this is a sample. You know, use this server, use this client, whatever. And then it would come back and and it would say something like, well, for your particular purposes, uh, you could implement something there. And it's like, yes, I know that you can implement things in code, and that's all fine and good, but. That's what I was trying to use you for. So after about like, I don't know, I want to say like a half hour, maybe 45 minutes of wrestling back and forth, uh, I just gave up. So what I was trying to do was if you saw my previous video about the Gmail and being able to like, you know, deal with all the privacy issues, uh, I was looking to, instead of using uh, Claude specifically, I wanted to create like a bridge with Olama. So have Olama, and then instead of connecting with Claude and Claude desktop, use like an inferior model. So let's say like, you know, Quen 2.5 coder, like one of the good coding models that can still call functions, but the open source model, as opposed to Claude, which, you know, has all these hangups about like, oh, I can't email, you know, your wife because she might not trust you or I can't verify her identity or something like that. So instead of having all this censored stuff, I was just gonna use Olama and connect them. And I'm still working on that, but let me just go dive right into what, um, so this is what I was trying to do. And I, I spent maybe, like I said, like 45 minutes dealing with the latest and greatest from OpenAI. And it was just bad. Like I would give it like four or five files. I would give it different, like, you know, bits of code that I'd seen online and it, it wouldn't return anything. Meanwhile, I go back to like, you know, our old friend Claude, which, you know, is still in my mind, the best, like Claude 3.5 Sonnet, the, the new version is still in my mind, the best LLM. So this is like a cautionary video for anybody thinking about getting like OpenAI's like newest, greatest model. Um, I would say at the very least, you could just buy the the regular subscription for 20 bucks a month and then, you know, try to use O1 for your purposes, which might be OK. But honestly, I never really liked O1 that much. But here here's something I took and put it to Claude as just an example. I want to use Olama to run an LLM that will chat with and I can leverage MCPs, which I had already described extensively to O1. And with Claude, I don't think I have to that much. Um, but anyway, I said, I started work and then I pasted this in, which is, this is the pasted code. Uh, so this is what, this is what the, the greatest, latest, awesome, you know, this is so good. It's this 90% on code forces or whatever. Um, I, I, I gave it a prompt and then it came back with a bunch of, not gobbledygook, but anyway, so I tried to take what I could from uh, O1 Pro and this is like some of it was legit like some of it i like you know was able to get some decent code back i'm trying to look through this example i hadn't seen this myself um let me see after giving it very specific instructions yeah look the bridging server might have tools named like weather get forecast i was i gave it the example mcp 
and essentially said, I don't want to use this weather forecast. I want to use the file system. And instead it just says, well, the bridging server could use the weather and then look at the weather. And it literally is just giving the exact same thing that I gave it back as opposed to like thinking, like, I don't know how much it thought, but it really just like reflected back what I said without actually putting in to words or, you know, into some sort of thought process around, huh, this user wants a file system. Maybe I shouldn't give him back this weather example that he just gave me. So anyway, that was bad. Um, you know, oh, here's another post the weather in, in Toronto. So like, it's literally just spitting back. The response might include a tools call. Right? Like it literally has all these things about like it might, and then it's like, oh, okay, maybe this or maybe that. It It's really like, it seems like it's just very unsure of itself. And the model uh, gives you like multiple different paths you could take, but instead of giving you like an answer that you're looking for, the final answer, blah, blah, blah. Let's see, multiple tool calls. Uh, oh yeah, here's some other things you could do. Try these other things that you might wanna do. So in summary, this shows a web application. It actually didn't give me anything. Like none of this was actual like final code that I can use. It may be like one snippet of one file and a few things that were like regurgitated from things I gave it. So I just wanna say that the new O1 model is crap. Uh, the This is what I got from Claude. So I basically said, you got Olama running, you have the MCP servers running. I wanna connect the MCPs to Olama instead of Claude. And it's like, I'll get you started with a complete like example. You want a bridge server? Here's your code for your bridge server. This. You know, this is one complete code file. Like I could just run this and I'll have my bridge server. Awesome, thanks Claude. Next one. Oh, here's your client. So you got a server, you got your client. Here's your client based on the, the documentation that was given. And okay, still using the SDK as I had mentioned, doing tool calls, like following all the proper structure. And then finally the web server, like here, you know, you can set this server up and here's the thing that you actually chat with. So you, you connect, to Olama, you know, whatever particular model, you give it the tools, and then you can just kind of use this as like a simple web app. So then I can make calls to this and, and be done. So this is what I wanted. I wanted a server, I wanted a client, and I wanted this, uh, the, the bridge server, the web server, and then this MCP client. So that would be great. And then it's like, oh, let me tell you how to actually implement this and do this. I mean, I'm not using Bash because I, I have Windows, but <laughs> the point is Claude is so freaking helpful. And then, oh, create this file. And then even afterwards, since I already have this stuff, I just said, okay, cool. Like Claude, you have control of my files. So just go ahead and create these things. It's like, oh, I'll create this and I'll create that. And I'll just go from there. So then it's already like, we're already off to the races. So I'm going to keep working on this Olama thing, but I just wanted to post this video really quickly because the newest, greatest $200 a month, I got my money back. I like, I literally signed up for it, thought I'd try it out and then it was crap. And then, so I immediately like contact their customer service, which is like itself is actually very difficult. You have to like, you know, go through this like very, you know, Byzantine process of finding how to get your money back. It's not just a simple, oh, I want a refund. Anyway, they gave me my money back. So good on OpenAI for that. But for anybody watching this, the newest model is, is in my mind, it's really bad. Maybe it's really good if you're like a physics PhD and you want some help on your, you know, dissertation or something. But when it comes to like coding things, complete garbage. Anyway, You've been warned, don't pay $200, save yourself money. Merry Christmas, <laughs> well, early Christmas.